Now, from WYDC-TV, this is Big Fox News at 10. Good evening, I'm Anna Manuel with Big Fox News. The search for four missing young men in Pennsylvania continues. Investigators say the search is now focused on a large piece of property on Route 202 in Buck County. 19-year-old Jimmy Patrick was first reported missing last Wednesday. The other three men, 21-year-old Tom Mayo, 22-year-old Mark Sturgis, and 19-year-old Dean Finocchiaro, all vanished on Friday. Right now, police are not releasing details surrounding the disappearances, but they say they are working around the clock along with the FBI in hopes of figuring out what happened to them. Police have arrested Cosmo DiNardo on a prior felony weapons charge and are now considering him a person of interest. He is connected to the land where police are searching. Piece by piece, the historic smokestack that was once part of the old Corning Hospital slowly coming down. A two-man crew is taking Apart bits of the chimney every day. The work is expected to be done by the middle of next month. This lot will eventually house 85 residential units and some mixed use commercial space. Construction is expected to begin next spring on that. There is a critical need for nurses to take care of our aging veterans. That's why today the VA in Bath is working to recruit them. It held an open house this afternoon for anyone interested in careers with the VA. They got a tour of the nursing home. They got to learn what kind of care they would give patients. The VA says it offers competitive salaries, excellent health and retirement benefits, and generous vacation and sick leave. Well, that sounds like a great place to work. <laughs> if you'd like more information, you can check out Bath dot va dot gov. Watkins Glen International is looking for seasonal employees for the busy summer racing season. It is holding a job fair tomorrow from noon to six. Open positions include food and beverage services, grandstand ushers, grandstand medics and first responders, security, landscaping and cleaners. A little bit of everything here. Attendees should enter through gate two at 2790 County Route 16 Watkins Glen. The fair will be held at the media center. An application and two forms of identification are required, and resumes are encouraged, but they're not mandatory. All right, stormy weather making a return to the Twin Tiers. Meteorologist Kim Walker is in next with your Big Fox forecast. Now, your Twin Tiers forecast from Big Fox. Well, good evening, everyone. We are expecting partly sunny skies tomorrow. It's going to be humid once again. There could be a few storms that will be passing through our area. On Thursday, those clouds will start to increase. It's going to be warm once again, and then scattered showers across our area. And then on rain, cooler air will arrive, and we're going to have a few off and on showers during the day. Temperatures today, a little bit warmer than yesterday, where we were in the 70s. Today, we were in the 80s, 82 for Elmira, 78 degrees in Binghamton, 83 degrees in Ithaca, and also in Watkins Glen, Corning, checking in at 82 degrees. We do have a stationary front uh, across the region. It's actually going to lift to the north and becoming a warm front, the leading edge of warmer air. And we're going to be south of it, so that means very warm tomorrow, and it's going to be very humid, and that's going to set off a few showers and thunderstorms across our region, and that will also be the case as we move through the rest of the week as well. Tonight, temperatures drop down to around 61 degrees under a mostly cloudy sky. There could be a few showers off and on in the evening hours. And then as we make our way into tomorrow, expect highs around 86 degrees. So we're going to be a few degrees warmer than today. A shower or thunderstorm could be possible, especially in the afternoon. And here's a look at your seven day forecast. Temperatures will be uh, in the 80s once again on uh, Thursday. Showers and there could be some uh, thunderstorms that could bring some heavy rain. That uh, front I was telling you about will meander across our region just off and on uh, during the next three days. So it's just going to be sticking around, keeping the rain chance chances around as well. But by Friday, we're going to cool down our high only around 77 degrees with a chance of thunderstorms. And then over the weekend, a little bit more sunshine temperatures will start to warm up uh, responding to that sunshine 81 degrees for your Saturday. And then our chances of rain will come back, especially in the afternoon on Sunday with a high around 83 degrees. We drop back down to around 76 as we start off the work week again, partly sunny skies. And then on Tuesday, expect a little bit more cloud cover and temperatures will be a little bit warmer with a high around 83 degrees. Degrees. So tomorrow again, it's going to be hot and humid and we do have chances of thunderstorms, but cooler air will be here yeah. by the end of the week. Looking forward to that high of just 77. Right. That sounds very nice. <laughs> well, look at this video. A little bit cute, a little bit sad all at the same time. Police in Laverne, California encountering a bear cub 
wandering around the woods with a, its head stuck in a jar. Maybe a jug there, some kind of plastic jug. Yeah, it's a scenario reminiscent of Winnie the Pooh, who frequently got his head stuck in a jar full of honey. And the bear was captured on video Saturday, thrashing around, clawing at its head, and using a fence to pop off the plastic jug. A mm -hmm. police officer held the cub down while a wildlife agent removed the jug from its head. Once free, the cub was seen running back into the wild. Oh my goodness, let's just watch him again and then... <laughs> Oh, it's just like a little baby cub. I know you feel bad for him. It must have been a scary experience, but um, soon his head will be too big to fit in places like that. Definitely. So maybe it won't happen again. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us tonight. I hope you have a great evening.